I understand that everybody's life is not the same, meaning you got people who grow up poor, middle class, rich, all their life, and have never experienced, you know, poverty. But please tell me, like, all the sorrow and the no commitment from men and women, and I want to say something. We are all well connected in a way, whether if you like it or not. Like I said, we influence people whether if you like it or not. So if the men ain't getting it right and they all locked up and you got women who are looking at other women, excuse me, and they're crossing over. And you got women who are, how can I say it? Because God believes in keeping yourself up. God believes in, it may not be <clears throat> all this, uh, jewelry, makeup, whatever. But let's just take a plain basic woman, for instance. And there's a lot of women out there like that who don't even wear all that stuff. And then men aren't even attracted. So therefore, you got men with men, women with women. <clears throat> you got all kind of stories, man, that, you know, no one should judge. And I have to put myself out there. Sometimes I feel bad, you know, the way I put myself out there. But at the same time, I'd rather talk and be open than be in here dabbling somewhere. You know what it should be right now? It should be you come out of the woodworks and somebody seeing your life change so, dram so dramatically and so drastically. Oh, man, what happened to Roro? What happened to Leroy? What happened to uh, TT? She, man, she just rose up out of the woodwork. She used to do drugs. She used to be in the prostitution house. Now she on the corners of the streets preaching the word of God. Man, man, this, this, this year she didn't got her a job and she got an apartment. Man, she didn't gain weight. You know, so-and-so, so-and-so, man, he, he was doing drugs on the corner. Got him a nice job working in IT or whatever, whatever, whatever. Wow, what happened? You know, that should be because of the pain, because of the moaning, because of the groaning of the world. You know, I, I sit here and I go through so much, but it's not just me, man. We all are getting attacked and going through all these things. And I'm just like, you know, I had to. And guess what? I can only speak what I go through and what I walk. So, yes, if you can ask anybody around me, yeah, I used to know her. I may have used to talk to her. I may, I, I may have used to have had a sexual relationship with her. But, yeah, Quinitra, you know, she's speaking the word of God. You know, she's trying. She's pressing. She's unashamed. You know, she's coming out of the woodworks. I respect her for that. Many don't. But the question is, how many people, I'm speaking to y'all. How many people are going to come out the woodworks now? You're just going to take that bold step. You feel God nugging and tugging and pushing at you. But guess what? It's not about you. It's about souls out here. It's about people in nursing homes who can't get up, who have bed sores. It's about people who's in human trafficking underground. It's about people who get kidnapped and get locked in outhouses outside. And they get raped and little bitty kids when it comes to child pornography. And uh, if you ever seen a video of child pornography, which I haven't, but I've heard policemen report, you know, the, the, the look on the child's face when she loses her virginity at two and three and four years old. You know, uh, 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 infant, eight months, uh, performing, was it, Philadio, what they call it. But that's called oral sex. You know, and these are grown men, you know, getting the thrill off of that. You know, you got so much going on. People go, well, I, I don't know how to pray, how I should, whatever, whatever, whatever. Man, you know, we got to start somewhere. Lord God, protecting God, the people in the world. Lord God, bless us to, to love one another. Lord God, let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord God, give us your Holy Spirit. Give us your love. You know, sin and revival, Lord God. In my name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus, Lord God. Forgive us of all of our sin and forgive every person, Lord God, you know, who has ever committed abortion, Lord God. And forgive every person, Lord God, who, who has murdered someone, Lord God. Dry up uh, the avenues and dry up, Lord God, the dark holes of demonic activity, Lord God. And what Satan has got his tentacles in the earth and in our lives, Lord God. Come through and do a miracle, Lord God, only that you can do. Lord God, I repent on the behalf of America. I repent on the behalf of America. I know destruction is coming to America, you know, 
Start being like Abraham. You know, if there was going to be, suppose there were 50 righteous in the city, would you destroy it? He said, no, he wouldn't. So, you know, there's ways to pray. I used to be in a prophetic ministry and they say, pray for Israel. When you pray for God's beloved in the apple of his eye, you know, he, he protects where you live because, you know, I've heard, you know, for so many years, they want to overtake that land. So when you're asking God to bless and to, um, cause God to keep his hand and the blood of Jesus Christ to be over it. You know, God protects your land and keeps it from being invaded. That's a, a nugget of wisdom I just gave you. Pray for Israel. Pray for Israel. Pray for Israel. I grew up under a ministry. It took years for me to develop. 10, 11, 12 years into the person I am today. And, 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 and half of the things that I've been taught, I'm still yet. <coughs> excuse me. I'm still yet to tell you. And we're going to break it down. We're going to go through dreams and prophetic visions and numbers and how to pray and how to decree and take authority. There is a plumb line to even pray. I get prayers off the internet. Lord God, I stand behind you, the breaker. I am still uh, a working progress. I, a progress. I stand behind you in the mighty name of our Lord God, our Savior Christ Jesus. Go forth and break up every situation, Lord God, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Paralyze the enemy, Lord God. Cause his communication to be scattered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And when you thank <clears throat> Lord, the Lord God for breaking spells and sins, all those things fall to the ground. Lord God, I want to thank you for my tomorrow. Lord God, I want to thank you for my today. Lord God, I want to thank you that I'm going to overcome this trial. Lord God, I thank you that I'm not going to be fired. I remember there was a time I worked for Gold's Gym and uh, God began to come to me and talk to me and he was just like, you know, you're going to uh, going to be fired. They want to fire you. And then, you know, I didn't really believe it until the atmosphere changed from a dream of God warning me to the, 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 the real actual natural atmosphere when I was fully awoke. Once I began to notice that, I begin to speak back to God and I begin to decree and take over my atmosphere. I prophesy and decree and declare that the way I walk out this job, it won't be me getting fired. It won't be me being laid off, but it will be an authority of something I want to do. In the mighty name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus, I prophesy and decree and declare that I will not be fired because I have a job. I mean, uh, excuse me, because I, I have rent to take care of, because I have babies and gas and stuff to put in my car and lights to pay. So <coughs> God spoke to me. And he told me that I was going to leave Gold's Gym on uh, May 4th. And some time had went by and I noticed I got caught up in my uh, boss treating me a certain way at the job. <clears throat> and I just got distracted and I, I lost track of the time and dates and stuff like that. And uh, it looked like he was really trying because uh, they was like, well, we can't find the envelope that you counted this morning. I was like, man, they can find me today. So I just went and I took it serious because I was arguing with God. I was like, nope. Gold Shim was my most favorite job. It's the one that I got after my divorce from my, from my second husband. And I love this job. I'm not giving it up. No, God, no. I'm telling God, no. And God spoke to me in a dream, May 4th. And then he gave me a, a dream of what my new boss looked like. He was black. And like I said, I got distracted in between. <coughs> so, excuse me. What I ended up doing, I got in the parking lot when they said he couldn't find an envelope. I was like, Lord God, this is serious, man. This is serious. You know, Father God, bless my hands when I walk up in here today. Bless my hands when I walk up in this work source today. Whatever job and application I fill out, bless my hands for this person to call me back. They called me back. I had an interview. My uh, boss was black, just like God said. And then when I went to quit, because they hired me and they told me my start date and everything, he gave me, he took my uh, social security, my ID. Oh my gosh, I went to my old job at Gold's Gym and turned in my key because I, I opened up the gym. I said, I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. So I walked outside, driving on my way down the street. He said, Kunicha, what's today? I said, uh, I don't know. Check my phone. And God literally talks to me, a literal audible voice and sometimes just a strong unction. I said, it's May 4th. Oh my gosh, it's May 4th. It's May 4th. And you know, God, you know, shakes my foundations like that. He shakes my faith like that. And last but not least, what I want to leave with you I always pray and ask God to show me the spiritual realm. I always pray and ask God to show me the spiritual realm. I said, I want to see hell through symbols and different things. Because I feel like, you know, seeing hell sometimes too much the way that you want me. I'm not going to, you know, rebuke you, Lord God, from showing me that way when you want to. And he still does it. Um, but while I'm walking around and different things going on, show me, you know, with live visions. <clears throat> I remember a, a certain season, like I said, 
God would allow me to feel. I would feel things changing <clears throat> and the atmosphere change. Like, I used to doubt that we could be raptured until God started sending this electric surge to my tummy. He started sending this electric surge to my tummy. And I would go into a deep dream. And then I would come out of the dream. And that's when one time he did it, it was 1003. Then it began to start manifesting everywhere in the natural. <clears throat> so one day I was at Jiffy Lube and I was doing different things. Uh, it was like months, seasons of this. Uh, I was walking around. <clears throat> and everywhere that I was going, everything I was doing, the ground started opening up. And then I would walk outside and just sense, like I could just feel like I could be standing in my room or standing outside and it just felt like I was going to fall through the earth. It was the most terrifying feeling of all. Oh my gosh. And, 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 and God was doing it and, and, I, and it's, I couldn't control it. I couldn't control it. And I was just like, God, I didn't say it was enough or nothing like that. But you could just feel telepathically like you don't have to go and go to sleep or whatever. It's whenever God wants to get a hold of you, he'll show you something. And he showed it to me. And I was just like, oh, my dear Lord, God. <clears throat> then he began to show me the ground opening up. And, and, and once I began to see that for certain seasons, I, you know, once I began to see that for certain seasons, I just wanted, you know, hell to be known to me so that I know it was real to me. I'm not concerned about heaven. It's there. But. <clears throat> excuse me because God showed me um, me going to hell so much I would see myself just sitting in there and pondering he's like that's you in the future because you de you decide to disobey me you know I spent my life unraveling trying to get out of that place in the spirit <clears throat> in the supernatural because I was on my way there I was already there if you haven't read certain books, there's uh, one by uh, Roger Mills. Uh, go to your Christian bookstore. Uh, while I was dead, I, while out of my body, I saw <clears throat> God, uh, hell, and the future living dead. And that's a, a room for the future living dead. And they're in there, and they're living on the earth, and they're just like zombie walking dead, meaning they are meant to go into hell. I was in that room. <clears throat> you know, I, I worked my whole life getting out of that room. And sometimes I feel like I'm still working my whole life to get out of that room. How many of you are in that room and you don't know it? I'm saying something real here. You know, I tell God, you know, I want my page to be different than anybody else's page. I'm not trying to do a challenge or do anything, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to bring to you the spiritual realm. I'm going to bring to you what God has been showing me. <clears throat> I, I ponder about hell. I, I continue in my in my spare time when I'm not making videos, going to relook and search up new things. And then sometimes when I'm not paying attention, I may see a demon or something manifest around me or feel a bad presence. And like I said, things should be so moaning and groaning in the earth. We should know that the earth is so bad and we should know that there is a better place for us that we should be coming out of the woodworks, becoming those ministers, pastors, teachers, preachers, praise dancers, people of God, apostles, prophets, whatever to save souls. You guys, please think and ponder upon this. Be blessed in the name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus tonight.